Even patients with serious medical conditions hesitate to ask doctors questions. I treat primarily uh, patients with congenital heart disease, that is structural heart defects that they've had since birth. The vast majority of patients that I treat are now teenagers who I treated as uh, babies. They're usually serious, uh, quiet, and not prone to ask questions. One of the most important things to get them to talk and to get them to ask questions is to see them by themselves without their parents. A patient that I have, a young woman, said to me, here's what I've been wondering. Will I ever be able to have children with my heart condition? And, you know, she, she teared up and I, I said, have you been worrying about this for a long time? And she said, I've been worrying about this since I was 15 years old. I said, yeah. She said, I can't tell you uh, what a relief that is. Does that include like past procedures or just a point, uh, just an appointment? Yeah, it pretty much includes everything. I encourage my patients to do research and come prepared to an appointment in the same way that they might come prepared to a business meeting or to a conference with a teacher because it's of equal importance. I have a wonderful doctor and I come with my little list of questions and I'm a doctor. I do it because otherwise when I'm there, I'll get nervous and I'll forget to ask and then it'll drive me crazy when I get home. If I have to do that, you probably should do that too. <laughs>